R.I.P. Spider-Man. G.B.N.F. Rest in piss. Rest in forgiveness, as they say. Anyways, guys. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi, my mode. <laughs> Thank you very much for resubscribing. Appreciate it. So, uh, first things first, I've got to ask McManor, is your ass still on the road? Or did you manage to claim it? Did you go and recover it? I need to know, otherwise I won't be able to sleep tonight. It is still on the road? Oh, damn. Hopefully it's still there in the morning and you can pick it up later. But you know, you know how it is. Anyways, guys. Uh, just, uh, obviously, uh, before we start, just, uh, let me know how the sound is, because obviously we had a bit of uh, technical difficulties last night, and I have tweaked it, I've tested it, it sounds fine, but as soon as you go live, these things can go horribly wrong. So, please, if it's sounding crackly again, if it's maybe too loud or whatever, just let me know. I'm sure you guys will. Now, I've still got on application audio, I took it out, put it back in, I changed the uh, sample rate, did some uh, system updates and all that, updated OBS. Maybe that might do it, but, you know, I did a lot of things, so fingers crossed it doesn't happen again. Sounds fine right now. That's good. That's good. So, uh, who's ready to potentially see the end of Shadowbringers? <laughs> I don't know. You guys said they might take two streams. I'm not too sure. We'll just, uh, we'll take it as it comes and all that. Also, hi, Elfish Lass and Purple Lilac in the YouTube chat. Good to see you. Good to see you, Knight. You didn't die. R.I.P. Spider-Man. Probably two streams. Well, depending on how, you know, how far we are. I, I'm committed. I'm committed to going for like five, six hours. I'm committed to going to the wee hours of the morning. If it means that we're right at the finish line, you know. We've did it before. We can do it again. So good. A really nasty looking spider. Was it one of the usual big brown ones? You know, the ones that are massive and run around. Because if it was anything small than that, I'd be like, oh, come on. Surely, surely you could be able to deal with that. Yes, Pinka did get her, uh, <laughs> she did pre-order at long last. It was, uh, it was quite the sight to see when obviously we seen the, uh, the pre-order went through. Spiders are friends. Every time I've got one, I catch it and put it outside. I don't kill them. Up at 4 a.m. beating shampooers. <laughs> It'd be worth it. I'd be dying tomorrow, but it would be absolutely worth it. But yeah, I will get my uh, pre-order by the end of the week. I will have those, uh, those earrings at some point. Because it will make leveling my uh, other jobs a lot easier. Okay. Sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting something. There we go. Your room matches the glam. I did see the photo. I've seen a. Uh, don't know if Lyle, don't know if you've got them on right now. On the uh, auras. Do you have them on? I don't think you do. Is there any auras that have them on right now? Because I've seen what they're like and it's like just clipped to the horn. <laughs> it looks uh, it looks a bit odd. You've got them, Fran? Where are you at the back? It's just a way that they look like they're just clipped on. It's clipped to the horn. Well, it looked like it was clipped to the horn in the uh, the photo that I seen. It was just like put on the side. Hi, Silver Portal. How you doing? Wow, Alessio. Imagine saying that. Do I love Shadowbringers? Well, this music's been absolutely going nuts for like the last while that we've been playing over the streams. Smell of Dior perfume. Are you not a fan of Dior perfume? <clears throat> G 
guys, what is your uh, cologne of choice or perfume of choice? I wear the Johnny Depp bottle. It's the one where Johnny Depp's in the advert. Do you smell like Old Spice? Well, Desmond does. I don't, though. I smell like Johnny Depp. Take that what you will. Did you get them on eventually, friend? There they are. See if I can uh, get a zoom in. You can sort of see it. I don't know if it was uh, just a different model or something, but it looked like it was just clipped onto the side. Is it maybe a male? Maybe a male or a thing? Because the character model was male. So I don't know if it was that. Dead also. <laughs> Is that the cologne of choice for you? <laughs> Good old bit of bleach. Never hurt anyone. Links Africa. There you go. Now that's a spice. Hello, MB. Good to see you. Or is getting the short end of the stick. Will they eventually be able to wear all the headgear? Same as the, uh, the froths. Links Africa, scourge of the boys' locker room. And makes a really good flamethrower, of course. Right. Enough, uh, enough messing around. Is it time to engage with the Crystal Exarch? Is it time to Fire Emblem engage? Because YouTube was lonely last stream. Yeah, no worries. It's just there, just in case anyone from uh, the YouTube side finds it and just wants to jump in. But also, if you're not a sub, you won't get out with ads like you do on Twitch. So, it might be good to jump in between both. It's just whatever you prefer. You know, because sometimes uh, Twitch lags a bit and all that. And YouTube might be a bit smoother. It's just, obviously, so you get the best viewing experience. <laughs> Emblem engage. <laughs> Emblem morph engage. Very well, let us begin. Let's go and kick Vofri's ass. We'll need to all kick it at the same time because it's so big. One kick will just feel like a fly, you know? And that's a lot of sin eaters. I mean, you can't miss it, but one person doing it won't do much damage. Word from the Exarch. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. Why is the auto on? Hello? Well, we have sufficient stone for our needs. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. I really hope this Talos is just like a big golem from Pokemon. Let us begin. See that everyone is in position. We shall catch Vorthri, mountain and all. Getting the robot, Desmond. <laughs> All of Desmond's wee pouty lip, he's pure. Oh my god, a bomb. Here it comes! Let's see what you've made. Honestly, if you told me that that guy was going to be like pivotal to us fighting, <laughs> fighting Vofri, or like fighting one of the final bosses, then uh, I, I would have said you're full of crap. I'd be like, this guy. <laughs> you turn it into massive, massive golems. I'm feeling strong.
Meanwhile, uh, Nickelback's uh, hero is playing in the background when I say it as well. Oh my god, it's got a crown! It's the king of the Talos. King Talos. King of the golems. Arthur's like, what the hell? Go on, Talos. Engage. Bring the mountain down. <laughs> Stupid. That's what you get for running straight into it. Yes, yes. You have not lost your touch, you clever old bugger. His name's Bob. <laughs> Bob the King Talos. I'll accept that. Seniors are like annoying pigeons. <laughs> They're just like wee flies, basically. Do you see what they're doing? If its hands are damaged, it won't be able to cling to the mountain. Oh, I knew this Don't give up, Chai. It's only been two seconds. He's already like, this plan's a failure. Shouldn't have never done this. All three marshals the eaters to his defense. This was only to be expected. Tell him, Exarch. Tell him everything's gonna be okay. Draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. He's a man. <laughs> no Can go from sheer bliss to negativity at the drop of a hat. Go on, Bob. Is that <gasps> oh no, the Scottish are here now. <laughs> this is getting worse. Something or something is cold and cruel and heartless. Summon us in times of need, we expressly said yet. The Scottish are here. So much as a whisper of our name. I think it's uh I think it's just Titania. <laughs> but they, they represent all of Scotland, basically. Let's be honest. Scotland. If I had a bagpipe sound effect, I'd be playing that right now. Yes, yes, we may also have said that we play folk have no interest in the struggles of men. But if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have flown to his aid. Of course we would. What are we to do with him? It's so funny how I'm still a sprout and she's saying all this. I'm just a sprout. Please understand. <laughs> a bird playing Scottish. Every word she says, I think she's just going to go 100% every single time. Go on, Bob. You got this. <laughs> Voffrey's probably at the top like, ah! <laughs> you're falling over right now. <laughs> go on, Bob. You got this. Bring it down. Ain't they're mad, didn't we? This I did not expect. Fawfrey rolling around like a ball. Hi, right, next. Good to see you. You came at a good time. I will send word to Yostola and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gorg and be ready to make the ascent. Yeah, fun fact that that exact thing you just seen. That's what happened when uh, Scotland fought off the English back in the day. True story. Desmond's made it so far. I know. I can't believe it myself. Oh, it's not bringing it right down. So we're going to have to climb up it. The chances of the Scottish Inquisition are less than 1%, but not 0%. Yeah, where are we going next? Oh, straight up there. Oh god, I keep forgetting that. Let's go, guys. Tom. 
Oh, uh, thank you very much, Nix, for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I, uh, I did some uh, things before stream, and we just need to complete this quest, and then I'll be able to uh, fly around this area too. I made sure of that. <laughs> Look at this Scottish not mad against us. Nah. We're pretty chill, all things considered. We'll banter with you, we might call you some names, but we'll be pals with you. And then we built a walk, so it's... <laughs> How you doing, Kexel? Good to see you. Got all the other zones done. I think it's just uh, the uh, Rakatika. Or Rakatika, sorry. Yeah, it's just that. That's the only one I've got left to do. I love games that the environment changes as you play it. Like, that wasn't there when I first started, and now it's there. I love games that do that. Xenoblade's a game that does that. Anyone who's not played Xenoblade, play, uh, play Xenoblade. Shall we? Shall we what, Fancred? Oh yeah, do you like my, uh, my minion? My booby? I didn't go very far, Alpha, no. Jesus Christ. Get your ship. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want that thing to be at the end of my bed. Kill me. Everyone is here. Good. The Talos have taken hold of the stro uh, taken hold of the mountain. As planned, we'll use its body as a bridge to reach Volfrey's sanctuary. The Senior's will make it. Make us work for every yam, of course. But if we carve a path through their ranks and meet with their master, regardless. I'm brooding in the background. <laughs> Last one, there's a rotten egg. It's not going to be me. I'm not going to be the rotten egg. Not a chance. Booby. <laughs> I feel like Alphno was like that. Did you really just say that, Desmond? It's a life and death situation right now. Right, okie dokie. So, uh, you know what I'm about to ask. Who wants to go in there? Uh, who wants to kill Voffrey? Strawn Lyle. Okay. You wanna do it, Evan? Let's go. You went in rising? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. There's a B team as well running, then more than welcome to it. <laughs> that was kinda cringe, bro. You posted cringe. They're gonna kill you now. Okay, okay. Let's make our way up to Valfrey. Mount Gold. If there is a Team B running, last one there's a rotten egg. Oh, you're right. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Thanks for reminding me. Also, if you're not watching the cutscenes, you got to wait for me to finish the cutscene. Who's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like Blair Watch. Blair Watch? Blair Witch? Jesus. 
You know, do you ever think when uh, your pets look at you when you're on the computer or that, they probably think that you're doing that? The Blair Witch? They think you're just like looking at a corner, not doing anything. I know for a fact Oscar does that. He's like, he could be throwing the ball around for me, but he's just staring at the wall. So it is you. Is that God? Hello? You will not defile Hi, boys. Oh, sorry. No put my tank stance on. Everything is good, guys. I've rectified the situation. Don't worry. Cat knows you're on the computer. <laughs> Starts fucking with it. That does sound like something a cat would do. I was about to say, what the hell's firing over there? Don't worry, boys, I got them. Look at the health, they're dying. They've got absolutely no chance. One of them down. Another one. Another one. There we go. First pull done. This dungeon's spicy if you do auto. <laughs> well, I mean, every dungeon's gonna be spicy if I do auto all. Hi, mate. How you doing? The new paradise looks rocky. <laughs> You know, you need a you need a good strong base, as they say. Oh my god. For some reason he was losing aggro there. I had to grab it back. Okay, that's as far as I'll go. I won't uh, I won't overcommit. Just because potentially there's another team running against us, you know. There you go. No problem. Good healing, Ryzen. Good healing. Our spots reached. Did you even watch the cutscenes? He's a cheating. Did you just go in minimum mountain level? I bet he didn't. Absolute cheats. Me and my boys here are going through expert pace. There's no way he's got ahead of us. He's a cheating. 100%. Oh. Cheers for that, Dallas. Oh, Bob, sorry. Oh, it's the lion. It's the lion from the trailer. Hey, Mr. Lion. Do you perchance know uh, the lion from Madagascar? Alex. Alex the fucking lion. Madagascar. Pretty underrated movie. I like it. Hell yeah. 
Did I just not put that on fast enough? God damn it. Are we on Ravana? Torn from the heavens? Hell yeah. That's how you know we're getting to the end game. Uh, Alright, okay. That's how you avoid that. Bob the MVP. Oh. Yeah, that way. Yeah. What? I missed Madagascar. You know, like with everything, there'll probably be a re-release of it. Got in the stream at a good time? Yeah. On our way to Valfrey. Oh, shit. Okay, that was bigger that time. You're changing it up, Mr. Lion, I see. Oh, Black as Night. There's like, a, there's like a second of that before it comes out. It's not quite as snappy as uh, some of the other DCs. Yeah. I was about to say, does that make a circle? Aye. This time? Yeah. Got it that time. There you go. See you later, Alex. I know the wall to wall is a bit risky. But we are in a race, and of course we are winning, because there's no way... He spawned a wall monster. Okay, I feel like the wall, fine. It's just going to keep AoE and it's going to be a pain in the ass. There you go, nice and easy. How you doing, Bumble? Good to see you. Then I need that. Oh, the thing that I said pass on. Uh, I think it was just the uh, headgear. It was just slightly better than what I've got, but it's not really a uh, emergency. There'll always be other loot to get. Oh my god, it's. <laughs> Is this Minecraft? Has <laughs> Vofri been playing? Oh shit, he's been playing Minecraft up here. Or is this heaven? Are we going to heaven, boys? Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? We'll make heaven a place on Mount, Go uh, Mount Golg. Heaven's worked. <laughs> Finally. Jesus. 
What the hell? I'm getting ping-balled about. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> we take out the wall first. I'm just going to keep AoE spamming and popping my DCs like a good boy. That's what good tanks do. There you go. There we go. Built heaven in Minecraft. <laughs> what would this be? Uh, is it uh, limestone? Is that what it is in Minecraft? Can turn off the sound effects. Don't want them in important moments. Ah, you need the sound effects for the... Uh... Oh my god. What the hell is this? Is that a fucking Rubik's Cube? Hello? Oh my god, it's changing. Do we have to go to the bits that are blank? Okay, cool. That's what we do. All right. This one okay? Yeah. Should be fine. Watch out, Ryzen. Are you ready? Boss was a nightmare first time. <laughs> the evil Rubik's Cube. Or the holy Rubik's Cube. Maybe turn off sound effects just to be safe. Should I? I mean, I've never had a problem doing it in the other cutscenes, but... I don't know. Maybe you guys know something I don't. Oh. Gonna take this on my head, boys. That's ah, alright. Oh, shit. <laughs> That was a bit of delayed damage there. Okay. Over here should be fine. Okay. I avoided whatever that was. Back to the middle. What? Uh. Oh, is that because I uh, couldn't stand on that block? Fair enough. Oh, you mean notifications? Okay, yeah. No worries, I got ease. I was like, sound effects? Like, wouldn't that make future cutscenes, like, really weird? People are, <laughs> people are fighting and it's just like, they're waving hands at each other but nothing's, no sounds happen. This Rubik's Cube is about to be toast. There we go. Sorted. Oh, shit. <laughs> we were crushed after we killed it. I am righteousness. <laughs> I am righteousness. All right. <laughs> I thought he was just going to say that, and that was it. <laughs> it was a bit like, and? <laughs> hello, Voffrey. <laughs> Your line is, hello? Can't you do anything by yourself? It was a shame we didn't... Uh, fall over when uh, Bob grabbed hold of the Mount Gulk.
love how hard his VA went. Oh, his, his VA must like be so used to like screaming at the top of his lungs because my god, every cutscene he's in, he's screaming. <laughs> Which is like really fits the character well since he's like an absolute big spoiled bruh. <laughs> Dungeon's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. It's a shame it's uh, it's Voffrey's paradise. I'm guessing he's over there. Tad targeting past the one that needs the uh, needs the aggro. How's uh, Team 2 doing? You guys got to the first boss yet? Ah, no worries, Elvis. But yeah, I kind of forgot about the notification myself, not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys say, yeah, turn them off after this, then I'll definitely do that. I'll try and keep my eye on uh, things if uh, anyone uh, follows or does it. And, but obviously, don't waste your uh, your points for sound effects and that, because you, uh, you won't get them. And I don't want to feel bad and refund you. <laughs> Had the perfect one lined up. Okay. What we'll do is we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the book in the uh, in the end and we'll play the cutscene and you can play the sound effect when the bit comes up. Oh, what the fuck's that? Is that white jelly? Oh, probably shouldn't have stood under his arm. It won't be the same. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting clobbered. Well, just think of the good times we've had in the past. Was it going to be the fart sound effect by chance? Oh my god, I'm getting hit by that every time. It's going to do the other arm next. I'm staying away from that. Oh my god, Lyle, watch out. <laughs> He's almost dead though. There you go. Oh no, Evan. You okay? Hi, Cabot. Thank you very much for the good luck. Right, come on, Vaufrey. Your time has come. Oh, that's not Vaufrey. You got this. Thank you very much. Consort of Sin. <laughs> Women jump scare. Obscenity. Damn you! 
<laughs> Shut up, boss. <laughs> Where's our cheering? Oh. Okay. That looks a bit different that time. Keep the wand at the moment. Uh, I'm probably better just uh, just probably turning them off then, because I'll probably end up forgetting. If I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh my god! It's getting out of hand now. There are five of them. You know, I just expect it in the chat every time. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Oh, shit. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh. I think uh, the, the plan was there to avoid lasers. <laughs> the lasers are... Ah, oh, shit, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know what they just did there. <laughs> don't worry boys, I'm back. I'm alive. So it's gonna make, yeah. It's gonna make extras that time. It's almost dead, guys. Come on, one final push. We had a bit of a hiccup there, but we're all right. We're still alive. We've not lost yet. I'm pretty sure we're still in the lead from the other team that's run. And if they are ahead of us, then they clearly cheated. No idea how to avoid that. <laughs> that second one's a bit easier to avoid, but the first one, I'm not too sure. What do we do? <laughs> oh, is it the one the closest you go to? Oh, aye. There you go. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> First time I just seen lasers come at me, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> right. Good night. The one with the glowing hair, that was the double donut. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, double donut. GG, easy. Hi, Callow Guru. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, Desmond's sad. He just had to kill a woman. Understandable. For the first time the clones appear, look for the last one. I mean the ones that spawn around. Does that one not do uh, not do any damage or something? No.
don't even know if that one's going to be here. Oh, no, there's a couple things. There we go. Easy. Cheers for helping us out, guys. Always appreciated. There isn't a whole point of celebration. <laughs> Everything's getting a bit too serious now. Even though the Scottish just turned up there, you know. The last ones to spawn, the last ones to activate. Okay. So just uh, kind of go close to that one. Fair dues. Right, let's continue on. That's the real one. You stand closest to it. It's that. I know. Imagine being Scottish. Terrible. Terrible burden on someone. Okay, guys. I'm turning the notifications off now. The end is near, my friends. We have found Vorthra's hiding place. Just gonna adjust that a wee bit. That looked a bit too loud. There we go. I can't believe the stairs are talking to us. Let's get the megaphone out. I can do that too, all free. Nah, just peace for you, Voffrey. It's too much reverb, Voffrey. Hello? Peace assumes many forms. And I do not doubt that you considered yours well worth the cost. I was even prepared to believe that the end might justify the means. Ignorant as I was, I had hoped that you might mend your ways and join hands with us. That we might strive together for the happiness of all. You'd like ten hands to hold one of Offrey's. But no more. Your actions cannot be reconciled with your words. Peace for all, you say. Yet when you were threatened, your first act yeah. was to sacrifice your own people in order to save your You tell them, Alphano. If your Let them know. can be rebuilt so long as you alone survive, it exists not for the people. It exists solely for your twisted pleasure. Hear me, Vorthry. The people won't submit to your will, for we each have our own. I made a promise to a noble soul, a woman who saw fit to entrust me with her legacy, and I mean to keep it. Everyone who stands with us has something precious, oh. something that they cherish and would- I thought that was actual gameplay. I was about to say everyone's looking a bit still, but it's a photo. <laughs> Everyone's playing musical statues. They know their own hearts. They know what they want for this world. Runar <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> Runar spotted. And by lending their strength to our cause, they have spoken. No matter how hard you may try to bend the world to your will, we will never yield. Yeah, you tell them, Reen. Silence! Not another Fucking hell. Blew my eardrums out. You presume to lecture me. Insolent words. You will learn your place. <laughs> Baby's mind. With my true powers awakened, I will expunge you. Oh yeah, the reverb's off. That's how you know he's serious. He is perfect. He seems disinclined. Not gonna lie. As an audience. Perfectly round. Find Vortri. We will hold the eaters here. Oh. <laughs> Guess I gotta go and sort sort them out myself. Finish this. I suppose I need to absorb the light. As usual. <laughs> 
Desmond running at the camera. <laughs> Watch out. The crown of the immaculate. You want the notifications on for the fight? You sure? It's not going to uh, ruin it or spoil it now. Oh, it's a trial. I see. Right. You know what I'm going to ask? Who's strong? 20k go. Alright, fine. I'll put it on. I'll put the notifications on. Okay. There you go. They're back on. And just to prove that they are. Hello there. There you go. They're on. But turn it off after this. Okay. You have my eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, right. Of course. Okay, Who's feeling strong? Alta strong, strong. Okay. I see a copy is in there. Oh. Hi, Kexel. Not seen you in a bit. Morning. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to disband the party. Sorry about that. Uh, who else is feeling strong? How many have we got now? Three, six, seven, one more. Once again, guys, wish I could take you all, but unfortunately I can't. It's just whoever, like I see, usually popping up first. Once again, apologies if you didn't get picked. If I could take you all, would. But right now, I'm going to quickly jump to the toilet and then come back and then we'll get this show on the road. So uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back.
Hello there. Right. Fortunately, there's an ad playing right now. It's got 40 seconds left. I'll wait until that's done and then we'll get this show on the road. Right, what have we got? What have we got in the team? Okay. Just checking out the uh, the jobs. No red mages for the uh, lemon break free. Are we going minimum level? Absolutely. When have we ever not? Unless there's another team running this. I sport in the jorts. No, we're literally just about to enter the trial right now. Okay, the ad's done. Right, let's go, boys. Let's sort this big fucker out. <laughs> yep, just in time. Good luck in there. Thank you. Oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> How awkward it be if he fell down the stairs and started rolling? Innocence. Is that his uh, senior name, Innocence? There ain't nothing innocent about him. <laughs> he falls and starts rolling down the stairs. Oh, need more orange juice. Let's go, big man. Good to see you've uh, brought out the Dark Knight money bags. I'll get these ones. away from that. There we go. Glad it still works the same. I'll get that off your hope. Pizza tons up. <laughs> oh, sorry, we hit you too hard. Coming out his back. Oh no, he's hung. What the fuck? He's beautiful now. What happened? All right, that's why you wanted the notification zone. Alright, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. What the hell? 
Man, who would have thought if you just spray light of your eyes and your mouth, you turn into this? Well, I can't kill him now. If evil, why hot? <laughs> that must have played like a hundred times there. <laughs> oh my god, Vofrey, how did you do it, man? What's your secret? How did he lose seven kilo uh, seven tons? How did you get beach body ready in two seconds, Vofrey? Been waiting since heaven's one. <laughs> Jesus. That's quite a long time. <laughs> I was thinking that I was like we we uh, we took his health down like really fast. I thought, okay, there must be something afoot. He went down a bit too fast. Been waiting so. <laughs> well, I hope it was worth it. Man, money bags. He does not like you. Here. How did this guy get beach body ready in two seconds? Yep, we got it. Take one. I want it quickly. Okay. Still got that one over there. Can't wait to watch that back and <laughs> just see the spam of that sound effect. I'm glad I put it on now. Watch out, guys. That wasn't too bad. God, really? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> right. Who's ready to hit the limit break? Forfru is literally bloated with corrupted light ether. Well, that makes sense since, you know, he just like, sp he just like let a bunch of it out there. So this is what Vofri would actually look like. But there you go, guys. It's not that you're unattractive. It's just you might have some, uh, an overabundance of light in you. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on. Money bags. <laughs> uh, I'll follow you guys. I don't know why I looked at you there, McManor. Right, someone hit the limit break. Oh, someone did. <laughs> Must have been way ahead of me. Well, Vaufrey, it's been fun, but... The kitchen is closed. So somber. Now turn them off. <laughs> you sure you don't want to use them again? Haha, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> GG guys, thank you very much for the carry. 
Now turn them off? Okay. I'll turn them off. Okay, they're off now. Bloated with chicken nuggies. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, this is a cool photo already. We have reached the seat of godhood. It's right there. Jamie can't actually run up to it. Oh well. Team B finished up. Good, good. Were some of you guys in that fight as well and you were doing the sound effects too? Yeah, tell him, Hope. Tell him. Why would you slap me? I'm more attractive than him. Let's go. <laughs> Mid team B. <laughs> you know, there was dedication there. A dramatic transformation. You telling me? <laughs> yeah, that's him. It's a shock, I know, but it is him. It's finally over then. Now Nitro will turn to all of Northrend, bringing salvation to both our two worlds. <gasps> I can't, boys. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> nope. Nope. I refuse. No, 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 no. <laughs> This is my literal nightmare whenever I play this game. <laughs> Several cut Several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Okay. At least I can finally fly and uh Kalusia. Yeah, I'll just uh, disband the party quickly. Oh, I can't. Rest in peace. Prayer for my drinking habit. <laughs> you can fly, but at what cost? A beautiful man in front of me. <laughs> I can't believe that's Vofri. Like his actual form. It's crazy. Father told me that I am hope. I am righteous. Father? That I am Is that a God. sin eater higher than <laughs> he could have been a bad <laughs> I kept the people safe. Did you really though? Did you really keep them safe? You sacrificed people, did. Would you mean I should be the one looking? Yeah, there you go. There's the narcissist right there. Time to suck up your light. For his uh, makeup channel on YouTube, one million subs, easy. <laughs> Desmond really hitting him with a stand.
He's a bad, he's a bad man. He killed people. Have you considered that he's attractive? Right. Uri Angie did say there's a plan in place. I think him and you stole. I've got something cooking. If this goes wrong. Look, the sky. There we go. The night sky has been brought all over Northland. Okay, I thought for a second there, uh, things were about to go bad. Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, razed to the ground. Hello, former mayor. Yet they dare to complain about casualties. <laughs> Echo jump scare. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. Is this the mayor that was in charge before Valfrey took over? To be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. Don't need question marks, I know who this is. Good for this city, and you could do so much more <laughs> were you not surrounded by fools. You don't need question marks, you know who this is by the voice immediately. Oh, he's in his ashing gear. I was hiding in the corner. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One that will ensure the longevity of your reign. But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a trap. Oh, so he a king to rule. He made Vofrey? And as sire to the king, your authority. Oh wait, Vofrey did say man and senior, so he put a uh, late warden senior essence into baby Vofrey. I don't even want to know how what how that went about. Oh my fucking god, that was fast. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vortri, they behave as docile pets. Alright, so the seniors and that were still around at this point. I don't know why I thought, thought maybe they came after. After Vortri for some reason. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. By all means, sir. United under Yulmore's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. So this is him obviously wanting to keep the uh, everlasting light so the calamity would happen. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent and in their sloth seal your supremacy. Um, <laughs> not going to show his face. We know who it is. Male wife. Ah. Oh. oh shit. Ariangi, now's the time. Right? Right? Where's this plan, Ariangi, please? Twelve for Fend. He cannot contain the light. He's beginning to turn. Ariangi, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. He doesn't have any sleeves, you stole. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> But yeah, Uriangie, if you've got something, do it now, please. It's 
pushing back. Oh shit. Oh. Every light warden, Here he comes. Too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. My face leaves it home. <laughs> and so I shall relieve you of it. So you can turn. Channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. What? Who would choose to remain here in this dying Is he betraying us? Might go elsewhere and begin anew. Not Is he... And thus, thus did I use you. Is he betraying us to escape this world? No, no, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Damn you! We won't let you do with him as you please. Tell him, Alizé. Do not interfere! Uri Angie, betrayer number two? Is he betraying us again as well? <laughs> Should have known me you didn't wear sleeves. I beseech you all, let him go! Honestly, Uri Angie, man, like, you, you don't tell us anything, man. <laughs> Of course he did. He knows everything and just hides in the shadows, man. Tis all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Then what does he mean to do? He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. Wait, he's not betraying us? But then why did he, why did he sound so evil just a second ago? From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrand. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. So was this always his plan? A paltry way to end a chapter, I can see. He's not betraying us. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. I knew it. I knew it. There was no one else it could have been. Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. Fare you well. He tried to make you think he was betraying you. My inspiration. Yeah, he convinced me anyway. There was no one else it could have been, you know? The Crystal Tower. What? Oh. 
Hand. You bitch! <laughs> or no! I was saying the whole time he's gonna do something at some point. Ah! Oh, fucking no, man. I was thinking to myself, he's not showing his face for a good while. Imperial line are capable of you bitch him. <laughs> I hate you. Individuals do not exist in the first. <sighs> I, I literally was just thinking to myself, like, during the Voffer bit, and I was like, where's Emmett? I've not seen him in a good while. Therefore, in all <laughs> and Emmett with a gunman. Arrived here with the tower. This much I had surmised, <laughs> yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurd. I helped him in the Crystal Tower raids. <laughs> I'm his pal. <laughs> It is not your grand scheme that will succeed. I, f I regret putting the Emmett Selkie bot in the chat. <laughs> you bastard! Tell him, Fancred. Kill him. Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. Quick. Alpha no. Heal him. Disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. I could. Everything was about to be okay until you turned up. But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You this is what I don't get though. Like, he let us like absorb the light. I, d I don't get his plan. Because it goes against like what you think it is. I already know he created Valfrey. I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoinder. I really don't get him, man. I don't get why he was fine with us taking out the Light Wardens. I don't know. It literally goes against his plan. Though I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. Is that Arbert and his gang? When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthry. Thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. So you're gonna try and recruit us into becoming Ashens? Because the answer is no, Emma. He could contain and control the light. If not, then he. And by extension, you would be of no use to me. It was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would be the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing like what was really nilly. So what he was testing us? To say it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away, and I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me. <laughs> Emmett's dropping more lore. Graha's bleeding on the floor. Desmond's dying of light. It's all going great. Did I get the bad ending? Shit. But become a sin eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into sin eaters, and in time you will 
succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Almost one quest in a room reborn. The iron. What fourth we achieved through bliss. Oh my god. This is Dagon Rampa. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Exarch! Let's kidnap my cat. I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. Have to be villains this expansion, yeah. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. Better not be about to torture him in that. I pity you. I do. Do you? I. I'm. I'm feeling the pity coming off you. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. I mean, if I turn into a senator, then yeah. Seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the tempest. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity. Far from prying eyes. Bait his ankles. I'm dying. Till then, I bid you farewell. Eater. Are we gonna like turn it in a city and have to fight the the scions? Orange juice. <laughs> I need some more orange juice. I come back, uh, back in the uh, yeah, back in my room. Where were you? <laughs> Could have used some backup art, but ah, finally, Fankrid kills Desmond, becomes the hero. Oh no. Please no. What happened? <laughs> he did kidnap my cat, Gabe. <laughs> After you collapsed, Emmett's silk vanished. Dark Desmond must kill Light Desmond. There's a reason why he's always been there. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Oh, Reen helped me. I was about to say, like, I seem alright, then. Next to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. So the light came back. Yeah. All our hard work for nothing. like this all over. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. To quote Ardbert, we did everything right. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens.
No one knows but your friends. <laughs> the pomp wasn't big enough to absorb the light. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. <laughs> Desmond got the 5G and I'm now. Yeah, for once it's us that are in uh, trouble. Oh man. Desmond's so sad. I've not seen Desmond that sad since he lost his first job milking cows. But at least I can finally fight. Oh no. Everyone's dead. Please. Well guys, it's it's real sad times. It's time to walk. It's the only thing we know how. Don't got that specific cutscene. What was it the uh the bit with him itself or something else. Hey, Gib. Oh, I didn't notice the achievement. Warden of Light. Oh, man. I have become a Light Warden. Or basically near enough. Look who's back from the dead. I feel dead. Companions look fair ready to drop when they brought you in, so I offered a helping hand. Couldn't bear to see them struggle so. And you, my friend, I feared you had one foot in the grave. Cold and lifeless, you were like a corpse that was somehow still breathing. They told me some evil bastard went and snatched up. Oh, they know the uh, exarch's gone. In the midst of the chaos, wicked white, what's this world coming to? Ban. Moaning never solved the thing, did it? It's times like these we Kostarian folks stand tall and do what needs to be done. Trade with Ormo is back on the table. We'd best make use of those resources to fortify the city against the Eaters, or whatever misery the fates deemed to throw us next. Speaking of misery, Chesamay was worried sick about you. A healer round her hands is a sight you, you ever wish to see, let me tell you. Okay. Going up there now. Oh, sorry, lads. Probably could just uh, fast travel at the hey hill. <laughs> I don't think you've got the uh, remove light warden card in your astrologian. If only uh, you had the uh, a reverse trap card in there, you could have just went like that to aim it. No, you. And all the light would have went into him. And that would have been the end. <laughs> as soon as it has no effect, you can't remove it. Uh, visitors in the uh, Oceana. Uh, we were in there um, a couple days ago. But uh, 
yeah, at the moment we're just going to stick to Spriggan because if we are getting close to the end of the game, uh, I don't want potentially, you know, people getting disconnected or lag and all that. I am tempted to do some S streams in the future and everyone can come over with their mains if you want. But just there uh, right now, just there, uh, we're sticking on Spriggan for the time being. <laughs> this is no time to be... <laughs> this is no time to be lazing around, dude. Things are going wrong right now. Oh, sweetie, you're alive. Aw. Thanks for the compliment. Showing symptoms similar to eater corruption. Yeah. Don't think there's really much you can do. This is a bit outside your uh, knowledge. <laughs> is it because you two are doing the uh, new game? That's your uh, Light Warden wings? Oh my god. I don't think I've got anything like that to do it, unfortunately. Where are we off to next? Cabinet. Oh. Saddle brainers more like, am I right? But yeah, right, guys. Honest question. Be completely honest. Don't lie. How many of you knew it was Graha that was the Exarch? I obviously had my suspicions early on. 100%, yeah. I mean, this this person who's uh, attached to the Crystal Tower and literally Grahatia goes to sleep in the Crystal Tower, like, it doesn't take much to put it together. But also when you're talking to him at the start and you tell him, do you know Graha? And he goes, oh, I don't know him. It's like, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, oh, wrong place. Don't ever follow me. I go to the wrong place every time. I suppose, yeah, um, Crystal Tower wasn't 100% uh, needed like it was now. So maybe you might have actually missed it. And you just seen him and you're like that. Oh, that's what he looks like under the hood. But obviously you don't know who he actually is. Someone spoiled the reveal. Ah, oh, Sorry to hear that, man. You knew it after he got to the cliff. Yeah. When he started talking about heroes. His personality is a lot different than the Graha from the Crystal Tower. Like, it was a bit cheeky in the Crystal Tower to you, but this one seems a bit different. Graha was obvious, yeah. You forgot about him. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the amount of characters that have popped up again in the story and I've been like, who? Who's that? <laughs> like, they're from some, like, obscure side quest. I mean, even, um, like, there you go. I forgot his name again. Uh, in Stormblood, the uh, guy who's in the uh, one of the villages in Realm Reborn, he's always got his top off. He's, like, one of the leaders. Like, I didn't even recognize him when I got to Stormblood. Okay, we're turning out. Okay. Couple of hundred. Oh, yeah. They did say the Exarch's old, but. <laughs> yeah, Alright, Amzo. Yeah. Couple hundred years he's uh, matured a little bit, I guess. We're going back down, Rukai. <laughs> we're going back. Mephrod, yeah, Mephrod. That's it. That's the one. You forgot about him as well, Gabe. Obscure character callbacks. Just wait until when, Walker? Okay. Sometimes uh, when I go back over the videos, and obviously I edit videos, um, I do pick up on things that I might have forgot. But, yeah. Yeah, I knew it was Graha. I mean, the way you guys were going on about him, I was like, there's no way that 
you guys like a character that much who only appears in like one raid and you never see him again. And the moment the Crystal Tower was like brought into play and all that and then this mysterious guy who was part of the tower, I was like, this it's gotta be Graha, surely. Don't worry about me. Worry about the Exarch. Community latches onto some scary NPCs. I suppose that's a good thing about this game. You never know. Maybe in Dawn Trail, you'll randomly see someone from, I don't know, Heavensward. Maybe someone from Mishgard will just randomly be on the island on holiday or something. Oh, question marks. Yeah, I just after we just spoke about it, I'm not sure who this is. <laughs> Glenard. That's why you love watching people play through the MSQ. Yeah, you might notice some things that maybe you uh, didn't notice yourself when you played through it. Because also, when you're playing through it uh, yourself, you're it's very obvious to miss something. Whereas if you watch someone else play it, you might be able to like, you know, see other things. Oh, real. Absolutely. He needs his moment. Grenault. Yeah, they were talking about uh, making weapons. I suppose with the light being back, they also need to be back on their on their guard. They have no idea potential light warden is standing right beside them. Yeah, who would you like to show up again in uh, Dawn Trail? Can be a character from a job quest. Could be a character from a side quest, could be a character from maybe one of the raids, or maybe even count them in the MSQ. Just as like anyone in particular you'd like to run into and maybe they become a bit more of an important. <laughs> oh hell yeah, NPC Cat Girl 4, my favourite. That's one of the dancing girls in Alda, isn't it? I can't wait for them to become the new Scion. Taking the stock until you're properly well. I've got a regular who's eager to see you. All right. The red mage trainer, yeah. I've been doing some uh, red mage recently, and uh, obviously I've been uh, dealing with him in the uh, cutscenes. <laughs> Alizé and you miss him. <laughs> I don't know, is Desmond alright? You know, light, you know, abundance of light withstanding. Is Desmond alright? Take a moment to feel the wind upon your face. Okay. I can do that, I guess. Love to see him in the MSQ. That one L is in <laughs> Evansford. Oh, hell yeah. I really hope uh, Amaric has more of a role to play. I don't think he'll have much of a role in uh, 
obviously, th the way Shadowbrenners is going, it doesn't seem like anyone from uh, our world is going to really play a part. I hope he shows up in it in Walker. I hope I have dinner with him again. Maybe he'll be with us in uh, Dawn Trail. We can have a beach picnic together. Pippin? Yeah. Pippin and uh, Rabon. Can you imagine that? Rabon and Pippin at the beach. Father and son. That'd be so nice. Quest more dinners of random characters. Nah, it's got to be Amrik. Hero. <laughs> Hero on hard times. Oh, man. Imagine he turns up in Dontre, he's at the beach, and it says, Here still on hard times. Oh, man. One day I'll do that quest. But that day is not today. I don't think we've ever actually been up here. Right, before we uh, do the next bit of the quest, I need a photo. We've never been up here before. <laughs> Hi, that's the thing. Dawn Trail actually is uh, a big dating game. just a summer retreat, as they say. Start of the cutscenes. Alright. We'll get his after it. The Rogan Ninja. Aye. Jack. Okay. We'll get another photo after this. <laughs> DT stands for dating time. Oh yeah. Desmond time. <laughs> He's, I'm not even that Don Trill yet. It can't stand for Desmond time. The people of this city have spirit. I'll give them that. They've not lost the will to fight. Yeah, they did actually seem quite upbeat considering the light came back. I can imagine how torn you must feel looking at that sky. Knowing what it means to everyone. And that you're responsible. Did I pre-order? Not yet. I need to wait until Friday or after. <laughs> oh, hard part. It's all such a mess. too familiar one. Here you stand alone, expecting no one else to bear the burden for you. Yeah, we did follow in his footsteps. He brought the light by mistake and we brought the light. You're in a corner. And there doesn't seem to be any obvious way out. But that doesn't mean it's over. However hopeless it seems, you haven't lost yet. sky like this before being caught up in a strange kind of calm it was after we realized we were responsible for the flood when we resolved to journey to the source by taking our own lives one last sacrifice one last fight one last failure and then the oracle appeared and well, 
you know the rest. Yeah, you don't have to rub it in that uh, I got involved and uh, stopped you. You don't have to rub it in. I know. There were times in the years and decades that followed when I wondered if we might not have been better off just letting the rejoining happen. You don't mean that, Arbor. That we'd made one last mistake. But seeing that giant Talos stir to life cured me of any <laughs> doubts I still had. Big Bob. Always. Always we took the burden of fighting upon ourselves. That's what heroes do, isn't it? So we never had the chance to see anything like that. Our people coming together as one. I think that their hope still burned so bright. That they were still so eager to live, they would lift up their fellows, one on top of the other, till they reached the sky. No. We made the right decision. And I can finally feel proud of the part we played in helping this world survive. Oh shit. Are we fist bumping, Arbor? Are we bros for life now? Well, come on then. Guys, everyone get your fist bumps ready in chat. I always knew there was a spark between us, Arbor. between us was no coincidence. Oh yeah, wasn't that a bit where like he interacted with us when he couldn't before? My story may be finished, but the fates have gifted me a minor role in yours. Oh, don't say minor, Arthur. Come on. Be more confident in yourself. I suspected as much the moment I realised you could hear me. But it's hard not to doubt yourself when you're the man who caused the flood. I was afraid to do anything more than watch for fear of making things even worse. Yeah, that's kind of understandable. But no longer. After all, the path I once walked is now yours to finish. Brober. <laughs> for what it's worth, I cast my lot with yours. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. If you lose control, I'll do my best to stop you. Thank you. I've been losing mass, <laughs> losing control so, myself quite a bit. Let us be about it, hero. Dare blunders <laughs> unite. Hell yeah. <laughs> Here come the Scottish again. But look at you, grinning at nothing like a pollen drug pixie. Oh yeah, I, I, Desmond probably looks like a fucking psychopath. He's just like, just staring at his face. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Desmond? Hmm. Look at what you've done to your ether. It's a mess, and you have cracks running all through. I know. I know. I'm falling apart. I'm an absolute mess. Shall I yield up my throne? You could claim it. Cut ties with the mortal world. Hide I don't think Desmond's come. fit to be the new Titania. Yeah, it's a good scene. They say uh, heart to heart with our but would it really matter? If any pesky heroes come calling with steel and magic, all of Eel Meg will rise up in your defense. Don't you already do that? If I call for help, you'll come running, surely. My crown and scepter are yours. 
if you want them. <laughs> you get a nice pair of wings. Okay, you've convinced me. Honestly, the accent just hits too close to home. And besides, what would become of my precious and ephemeral flower? Desmond is a gentle flower. Don't hurt him. Oh, my dear beloved sapling, you are lost, confused. It's me every time I play this game. Little time to gather your every time. <laughs> is always so preoccupied with what lies ahead and so we muddle your vision with fog and glamour glamour mentioned but such trickery is easy to see through stand very very still think not of where you need to go but where you are right now at this moment at this time in this place she really just be saying just breathe in relax Eighty eight viewers. Well, it is getting close to the end of Shadowburners. It's to be expected. Once again, thank you everyone for watching. Appreciate it. Even if you are just lurking in the background or got me on the second monitor, always appreciate it. Thank you very much. Of Would you call me? From shadowed hood he watched you go. His ruby eyes with warmth aglow. I'm always on the second monitor. See yourself as that's what I want to be. And that shall be the clearest clue. See yourself as he saw you. Oh, from the sound of things. Uh, I must graha. Uh. <laughs> I guess he sees me as a hero, so I don't know. Where do heroes go? How did you know? Because I put other people in the second monitor. Ask his flowers what they know, and you will surely find an answer. Ask his flowers? What do I look like a fucking botanist? I haven't unlocked that job. What do you expect me to do? But what will you do with it, I wonder? I'll be watching and waiting. Waiting and watching. Give me <laughs> give me back my cat lad, <laughs> Emmett, you bitch. <laughs> Well, this was very, very enlightening going up here. <laughs> yeah, I've only got, I've only got like Fisher and armor. I can't, I can't talk to the flowers like that. Oh, I'm down here. Dead as usual. Right, everyone who missed the photo will get in. This is your chance to get in now. Elezio, what are you leaning on? The sheer strength of your ankles holding you up. Oh no, MB still in the cutscene. <laughs> MB! Only one monitor of a cringe desk. I'm sure you make it work, but... Honestly, when I went to a second monitor, I can't go back. The thought of using one monitor again saddens me. I actually want a third monitor. Yep, big chart. Look at this lineup. Look at all these handsome faces. And there's a fucking shoe bell right there. Two monitors are great, yeah. TV in front and the laptop. There you go. But yeah, like I said, I really want a third. You've got <laughs> three at work, yeah. I've only got two at work right now. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to pick up another. Multi screens are hard. Have you got maybe a. Uh, we stand or something you can plug it in to multi monitor it. Yeah, all you need to do is just go with full minority report. 
and just uh, get like 10,000 screens in front of you. It's the only way, honestly. Okay, what do we need to do now? In his garden. I've seen you hanging out a few times. Oh! 360. Oh, yeah. Buy a wall mount monitor. There's also those ones where you can get, like, the clamp on a desk and mount a monitor that way. I've got enough space. I can put on a third one beside. He is a man of wisdom and compassion. Did you know he's a cat boy? <laughs> nah. Desmond's got strong legs. Because one day the Crystal Tower may vanish as it suddenly arrived. So was this always his plan? His plan was always to take in the world's light. I'm guessing he couldn't do it though. And that's why uh, he needed someone to take in the light. And then he planned on taking it with him. Literally a plan hundreds of years in the making. <laughs> oh my god, what is this TV you speak of, Akuma? I'm only used to having small monitors. Oh god, the Exarch's memoirs. Jesus Christ, too soon, man. Too soon. Yeah, Captain Lena. She'll probably... Oh, she's probably freaking out now. <laughs> if she knows the Exarch is gone, she is probably freaking out right now. Uh, we need to go back to the library as well. Just three TVs of various sizes. One's a 50 inch, one's a 20 inch, and one's a 31 inch. Yeah, my two monitors I've got in front of me. I'll keep them as long as I can, but uh, they are pretty old. If I do get a new monitor, obviously it'll be uh, a more up to date one, and that would become my main one. 32, 24, 16. Okay. At least they're only like getting smaller as the scale goes. They're not like quite, they're not like wildly out of size. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen the Fall Guys emote in game. It's so strange to see it. So they named him the Crystal Exarch. His name's Graha. That's his real name. I just start doxing him. His name's Graha Tia. He lives at this address. Uh, speak with Lena. Let's go to Fort Jobby. You've got a 24 inch, Evan. We still talking about TVs. Go ultra wide. An ultra wide uh, curved screen. Oh, whoops. Keep forgetting that's not my mountain button. His address of the source is the same. Address. Number one, the crystal tower. Jesus, how'd you guys get here so fast? You better not be hacking. I'll tell Yoshi P. Right, don't freak out, but the Exarch's been kidnapped. Catnapped. Oh, she already knows. 
this <laughs> SM arrival. <laughs> I don't know. He's an antagonist. I don't know about rival. Yeah, he's been catnapped. The XR can trust me with a key. Opens the door on the ocular. To a chamber known as the Ambiculus. It's the heart of the tower. Well, I guess uh, it's not he knew that he was going to get kidnapped by uh, Emma. He expected to go to his death. Yeah, I'm just thinking that. Is it? Is that truly the only way we can get rid of the light is by him doing what he was about to do? <laughs> I like the umbilical cord. Xenos, yeah. Xenos is more of a rival than, uh, than Emmett. I mean, Emmett was like palling around for walking around. Time's come to open the tower's heart. Let's go. Maybe he would have, uh, maybe he's left something up. I can help us tell us where. Hey, hey! My name's Grahatia, and welcome to my crib. Okay. Let's go to the ocular. The Oculus Rift. Right, boys, back to the Crystarium. Yo, Graha house tour. I decided to make the walls a uh, blue crystal and the floors blue crystal and in this room the kitchen uh, it's got a nice uh, blue crystal floor and uh, the refrigerator is also blue crystal and uh, yeah thanks for coming to my crib MTV <laughs> MTV crystal tower It's just the way that photo was, <laughs> it reminded me of it. Oh, the gold accents, of course, of course. <laughs> I've not even seen what the inside of this place looks like yet. Home Judgment Silver. I have unlocked the door to the umbilicus. You are free to enter. Thank you. Once you have what you require, I'll see it sealed once more. Until then, I will remain without. I don't even know why I'm going here to look for it, to be honest, Lena. Thank you, best girl. I do like her. She's cool. That's a lot of books. This place is just a library. I was hoping to find like his uh, secret diary or something. Oh, echo time. <laughs> They've all got photos of Desmond. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uri Anji, the traitor. Collect my thoughts, I pray. Always betraying every time. Thy true name is Grahatia, then. I suppose he wouldn't have known him because he 
wasn't there for the uh, Crystal Tower stuff. By thy claims, thou too art a native of the Source, though from an age beyond our own, when the Eighth Umbral Calamity hath visited devastation upon our star. Thou hast, by subtle means, reached across the boundaries of time and space to unsow the seeds of catastrophe ere its creeping vines drag our champion under. I feel like Ariane is going to be like that. You'll forgive me if I don't believe you. In essence, yes. A difficult story to swallow, I'm sure. <laughs> when you put it like that, it does sound crazy, but hear me out. Sparkling shyness. <sighs> Who else wishes uh, Urianja kept this outfit rather than his actual outfit? I doubt not the veracity of thy words, not the account of thy coming, nor that of the fated calamity. Yet my mind straineth still to apprehend the enormity of this tale. Wouldst thou? Certainly. <laughs> Yeah, you guys prefer, uh, yeah, it does suit his job. But where to begin? I should start with those great minds. Who hey, Sid mentioned. Sid Garland being perhaps the greatest. In hopes of staying he is the greatest. The tides of war, He's the goat. Fellows pursued all manner of possible solutions. One of these was rooted in a theory which unified several fundamental principles discovered over the course of the Warrior of Light's adventures. It proposed a method by which one could enter the river of time, traverse the rift, and leap between worlds. Perfecting that idea, however, was a work which consumed their lifetimes. And thus was it left to future generations to decide whether theory would be put into practice. But all the while, the world continued to burn. Hope was a feeble outpost, beset on all sides by thievery and misery and murder. People cried out in despair, There is no hope, we are finished. Mankind... That's exactly what Emmett said. Then others raised their voices in answer. Though we be beyond salvation, those who came before may yet be saved. We will forge a crossroads and pave the way for a different future. By the wisdom of our forebears, we will prevent this calamity from ever having come to pass. Fighting went on unabated, but some few took up Sid's research and labored to realize those impossible ideas. After two centuries of labor, their descendants finally succeeded in awakening the Crystal Tower, an integral part of the process, and in doing so, roused its caretaker. You were sleeping on it. had largely established the phenomena underpinning the rejoining and identified the first as the shard which precipitated the eighth umbral calamity. This grand structure was already capable of storing the energies required to attempt the translocation. All that remained was to augment some few of its functions based upon the theoretical models of Sid and his compeers. And by means of such technologies didst thou affect thine arrival in the first, to an age before this star had joined with the Source. Some while before, as it turned out, it is all but impossible to predict how time will flow between one world and the next, and we missed our mark by almost an entire century. But this only worked in our favor. The Sin Eaters could not be defeated without the blessing of light, and summoning the only man who might stand a chance against them would require decades of preparation. Really has been a plan many years in the making. Of scarce credible endurance. 
that thou hast kept thy plan from falling into disarray these many years bordereth on the miraculous. Yet howsoever history be rewritten, thy present self was shaped by events which followed the calamity. Should said catastrophe be averted, the very skein of thine existence will unravel. Surely thou hast foreseen this. She's saying... She's saying if we do avert it, then the X art will disappear. Didn't expect time travel in this expansion, but here we are. It is for that very reason Sid and his colleagues bequeathed their legacy as an offering, and not an edict. Time paradox, yeah. To give all of oneself for the happiness of others, and with no promise of reward, is a hard thing to ask. Harder still for those condemned to survive in a world which pitted brother against brother. Indeed, you are right to call the execution of this plan miraculous, though the force which held it together was nothing so inexplicable. It was him. The warrior of light has been our unbroken thread. Where others would stumble and fall, he would rise above. Where others would break and run, he would carry on. The warrior of light's tale is one of unyielding bravery. To tell it was to feel courage. To hear it was to feel hope. It was a breath of inspiration in an age of suffocating shadow. I think Graha likes heroes, particularly the warrior of light. In the histories of a fallen nation was our hero hailed as its greatest ally. In the time-worn pages of a noble's memoirs were his deeds joy- Ishgard died. For many, these stories were the flame which warmed them through the coldest of nights. Your own and so it should come as little surprise that the plan found no shortage of volunteers concerning as it did the warrior of light himself it was their chance to add their own verse to the hero's saga graha is the chairman and the only member of the warrior of light appreciation club he was the lodestar that brought them all together to send their final message back through time and space to him The light of your legacy was our torch in the darkness. <laughs> he would ruin it, he would. <laughs> and live. Wait, he would try again and Graha would say, no, you're not allowed. <laughs> but I love him. <laughs> oh my god, Harshi and Graha meeting. Oh my god. The bearer of that wish. If only. Come to ensure it is safely delivered. Yeah, does the stories tell about us and the Rising Stones dancing on that table? I bet they omitted that conveniently. You became a legend by the time Graha woke up. Yeah. Suppose everything's happened already. <laughs> Angie's going through the motions, man. What wouldst thou have me say? Thy just wants a milkshake. Thank you very much for the follow, Geek Show. Be my accomplice? I've got the notifications off right now. I've been told to keep them off. But thank you for the follow. Twas you yourself who convinced me of your suitability when you spoke of how you learned of the flood and of your part in arranging <laughs> Minfilia's... Notifications off, can't hear it. But yeah, literally, uh, Uriangi's already did this with Minfilia and that and the Warriors of Darkness, so... Your actions showed uncommon resolve. The sneaky bitch. <laughs> You're the only one that can do it, Arianji. I knew I could trust you to choose the right path forward. Feel bad for them. 
even if that choice came with a heavy price. But it's a meme to call him a betrayer every time, every, every time he does something. What price? <laughs> Urian, she'd be like, uh oh, spaghettios, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's why Uri Angie told Stola not to get involved. You knew the plan. Knowing what I know of your companions, not to mention your champion, they will try to stop me. But in saving one, they would save none. Therefore, I implore you to aid me in concealing my identity and ensuring this tale ends as it must. To this end, I would have you take what I have told you of the Calamity and make of it a portent. A prophetic vision you beheld in the swirling chaos. Oh, I. Then he literally say, like, before Shadowbringers, like, he had a vision of us dying. Is this truly thy wish? History remembered the Warrior of Light, as I knew it would. And I will suffer no other to rescue the champion whose star has charted my course. It was right at the beginning. Well, he, uh, in the post-patch Stormblood, he, uh, he, uh, got brought here. But it wasn't a vision, true. I will see this tale to a happy end, my friend. There has been enough tragedy. Is there really no other way though? Like... Does he really need to absorb the light? Is there nothing else we can do? Careful now. Oh. If you lose control again, the light could claim you for good. Oh yeah. Uh, good nights, TV. Thank you very much for the uh, the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. Hello. We are uh, we are in the end game of Shadowbringers, at least the base. But thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Although it's probably only a matter of time before you succumb to the change. In any case, don't remind me, Arbert. Barbara well, did say he would help us if we lose control, so. Aye, good nights. What do I mean to do, guys? What do I mean to do? <laughs> I mean to have a few words with them. I mean, they're all kind of the same, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> those are the words Desmond wants. <laughs> He's a man of few words. The Asian mentioned the tempest, did he not? That's the stormy seas around Calusia to you. His lair must. Emmett's hiding underneath the sea. <laughs> And uh, Dasi. <laughs> You're still in a realm reborn MSQ. Avert your eyes. Run. Don't look. Yeah, you're kind of spoiling, dude. Just forget what you've just seen and go into the night. <laughs> I'd like to think by the time you get to this point, you've probably forgotten everything, but yeah. Don't, uh, don't look. You don't want to spoil the story, trust me. But once again, thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. But yeah, don't spoil yourself on the story. You only get to experience it once. She find the answer she sought. Uh... Tell me about the Tempest. <laughs> Can you even get up there, Fran? 
uh, quest of the tamers to provide you with an arrow to fly you over the waters. It's all right. I've got the infinite breath. I'm good. You got spoiled, yeah. Definitely, like you guys, uh, I've made sure I don't get spoiled or anything like that. So, because that is, that is worth it. I just don't see like how you could enjoy a, any story really. Doesn't matter if it's uh, a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's this, another RPG, or just another game entirely. Like the thought of playing a game you already know the story to, when the story is like one of the selling points, like it just ruins it. And this is definitely a game that you need to experience it for yourself. And of course, once again, it wouldn't have been as good if I didn't have you guys run around with me and carrying me through the dungeons, being strong. Oh, shit. Ardbert! Help! Ardbert! Ardbert! <laughs> ah, we have found thee. The betrayer. Hi, guys. Word reached us of thy recovery, and thus did we gather with all haste. Spoiler was the final scene in Endwalker during a run we born. Well, I mean, if that's the final scene, then that's quite bad, I'd imagine. I accidentally spoiled the final boss of uh, Shadowbrenners. By googling it. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Like, I've been so scared to like Google people's names because obviously like when I'm looking for like photos and that for like thumbnails and stuff, obviously yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely terrified you're like that. As you're typing it like that, try to avoid it. Ah. By thy looks I gather thou hast gleaned that which I came to tell thee. Yeah. Rule, don't Google anyone. Aye, Arianji, I know the story already. I know your game. Arianji has shared everything with us. The Exarch's true identity and purpose. Oh, he knows. I offer no excuses. When I agreed to aid the Exarch with his plans, twas in full acceptance of the condemnation I would face when my duplicity was laid bare. Yet it is not rancor, but resolve that I sense in thee. Thou art fully intent upon walking thy path to its end, art thou not? Absolutely. If thou canst forgive my deception, or, failing that, set aside thy displeasure for a time, I do beg leave to follow thee. What strength and wisdom I possess are thine to command. Hmm. Yeah, these days with the internet and that, you're never far from a spoiler these days. Shadowbringers trailer. Did you never play the, the game before that? <laughs> Uri Angie has to literally lie on the floor to talk to Al Alifel during this bit. <laughs> also, I'm laughing at this guy up here. He's like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> He's just watching all this unfold. No more lies, Uri Angie. Pray believe me when I say that I took no pleasure in deceiving uh -huh. Indeed, I curse the circumstances which compelled me to do so. But no further secrets lie between us, I swear it. <laughs> He's like, are you buying an Amino to fly? Like, what's going on? I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good Shut idea. Shut the fuck up, Reen! Oh, they asked. <laughs> It'll be fine, I've got infinite air. 
Crystarium, I mean, with or without Uriante. What I did for you won't last forever. There's no telling when the light will break free again. It's okay. <laughs> I've got hard burn. He told me he'd help me if it ever happened. Please, you must stay here. At least for a little while longer, we will find a way to cure this, I promise you. How can you make promises? We don't even know where to start. Alize, please. You know Reen was only trying to help. Of course I know. I know only too well. Alize snapping. But making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. It's a lie. Plain and simple. We've all searched high and low for an answer. And every one of us came back empty-handed. I feel like Alize is always so torn when things go bad for you. I'm not about to stand in his way now. Not after failing him in his hour of need. No! The least we can do is... Don't worry, Alize. It'll all somehow work itself out. We will go with you as well. There is naught to be gained by standing still. Indeed, we have exhausted every other avenue. Lead and we shall follow. If there is any hope to be found, then we will surely find it at your side. Yeah, good VA. All the VAs have like taken it up on our level in this expansion. <laughs> good thing McManner's not here right now, least mentioned. Is there aught we can do to help? Every time it's question marks, I get scared. Though we may not know the whole story, we do know you're in for a fight. And while the Exarch's away, it falls to the rest of us to see the Warrior of Darkness is given a proper... The entire squad. At least the few that you talk to. You told them! in so many words. Aye, we didn't need it spelled out for us. When the night sky appeared over whichever place you went to, it was harder not to put two and two together. That's true. I mean, we turn up, Desmond's dressed as a big goth. Like, it's pretty obvious he's the warrior darkness. From the moment I heard that you and the Exarch shared the homeland, I had my suspicions. Hoping off for a bit? Yeah, no worries. Thank you very much for hanging out. Always appreciated. Been waiting for a certain someone to arrive, and I knew at once that it must be you. Exactly. When he went up to meet you, to was clear it was no ordinary visitor. Is that Adam Howden? That spring in his step spoke volumes. I could feel his excitement. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Yeah, that's that's definitely Adam Howden. Alfie's V. Is he not playing through the game? We do not fully understand where you or the Exarch hail from, or why you've all done so much to protect us. But we are deeply grateful nonetheless. So, if there is anything at all we might do to aid your journey, you need only name it. What would you have of us? You might have invited them to join us, where there are not so many. Come, they are waiting. What is your will, O oh warrior of darkness? Hmm, what is my will? <laughs> you might die. <laughs> we'll get them home safe and sound. Oh yeah, there was a least mention in the chat. It would be quite funny if he uh, showed up. You all would start screaming. You'd all freak out. He was uh, close by. Him and uh, Alize's VAs were in uh, Glasgow a couple weeks ago. 
I was tempted to try and go, but I was a bit busy that day. It would have been funny if I got a photo of the two of them. <laughs> it would have been a cursed image. Hey, level 81. I have... Oh, under the sea. I have over-leveled this expansion. <laughs> if I did the Alfie, Alphano voice for him, he would literally, like, leave the stream immediately. <laughs> Ocean floor. Anyone got a uh, ocean gate submarine? <laughs> Can use that to get in there. You were 90 at this point. Okay. But have you did you use the dragon all the way from uh, from Realm Reborn? Because I could see it being like over leveled if that was the case. Okay, where are we going now? We are going over there. So back to Fort Joby. Hi Bumble, I see you there. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. I've got one of these. Got a, I've got an Xbox controller. We'll be okay, lads. We won't die, I promise. Let us fly, boys. You've got the Xbox control that you can't go wrong. Can't possibly perish. God, it's weird seeing the light back. I get so used to it being gone. You were worried for a moment there? Nah, we'll be okay. Everything will be fine. Who's shooting lasers down here? Dad fart? Excuse me. <laughs> Boys, it's dad fart. It is him. The man who is the fort of dads. Dad. <laughs> dad fort. Jesus Christ. There to the west, canst thou discern the hump of an eye rising above the water? What, that green thing over there? That foliage covered mass hid with the key to a safe descent. Swim close and plunge thee beneath the surface. Thou shalt soon divine the reason for mine insistence. Though it be much to my shame, I can't but flail and flounder <laughs> where thou mayst get- Oh, can your Angie not swim either? I shall board a boat to the island and spare one and all a spectacle of mine in- Oh! <laughs> mine in oh, strokes. Man. Get Alphano to teach you. If he can learn, you can learn. So... Oh, wrong button. So is this fine over here? The Isle of Ken? Is this Ayo Knuff? Oh my god. So has this got like a... It's maybe got like a lift that can go down to the, the ocean floor. <laughs> what? Uri <laughs> be what? <laughs> oh, there's Alphano. Did you swim? Underwater investigations. Oh, 
and he actually go into the war. Suspect rock formation. Alfie's been practicing. He really should have uh, taught Arianji. Giant stone eyelids. Is this fine alive? This is going to look dumb. The regalia underwater. Appears solid enough. The rock yields slightly under your touch. Is this fine alive? You know, I've got no idea which one exactly you're talking about, Leo. Do you know how, how much that narrows it down? This is important. If you've got any of those finds on that cannot be named. What? Notifications? I've got the notifications off. Minions? Dark magic? Uh guess I'll check. I mean, I really shouldn't. But I will, uh, I guess I'll uh, be cautious. I don't have anything special. I don't have anything dodgy. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. No, but for real, I don't have anything like anything totally dark magic altering, if you feel me. They call this the Eye of Kin. I'm the only Kin doll you need, baby. Thank you, Fancred. Always appreciated. Well, what has thou discerned? <laughs> it's just like the big one, yes, yes. Primal? If this sounds a big alive thing, it might be a primal. Most perceptive. According to the law of the pixies, we are now even perched upon the back of an ancient fey entity. Bismarck? Oh, it's the white whale? I remember that thing. I would enlist its aid to bear us onto the deep, and thence banish the water of an airy sphere, alike in form to the domes which do shelter the hamlets neath the ruby sea. Within compass we may move unencumbered, and defend ourselves when the hour of battle cometh, as it most surely shall. Now I must needs ask for silence while I may whilst I make my supplication. Harshy one. By the word, it's a primal. I'm Sailor Beans, good to see you. Weir Sach, Bilan Bismail.
Chat DMs. Okay. Well, at least it's alive. Okay. I'll see about that after this. Yo, is he speaking Irish? Is he speaking Welsh? Oh dear, I don't need to speak fate to know that didn't go well. <laughs> we need the Scottish. It's the only way. What'd you call me? I feel like we've seen you so much in the last few hours. And where do you go? On a trip? A journey? I knew you wouldn't give up without a fight. Oh, my precious mortal, I shall help you in any way I can. You tell him. You tell him. Respect, <laughs> respect the authority, basically. This one's teeth for him upon your return. It's only good manners. It will be done, Your Majesty. Our deepest thanks for your timely intervention. An agreement is reached, and your departure is at hand. You wingless ones best hold on tight. May the blessings of the Fae keep you safe in bar. Casual big white whale just flying around. You know what? Maybe maybe they'll be used to seeing these finds. And just like that, it's all come back to the way it was. <laughs> Bet. What was you expecting? Hundred years of honey and rainbows. I believe it when I see a giant white whale flying past. To wake up and smell the ashes was miracle enough for me. Ah, the magic in the air when that ladder started moving. <laughs> and when that great hulking Talos rose up. Gods. I could live a thousand years and never behold anything so amazing. Guess what? What the? Did you see that? <laughs> yep, right on schedule. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind us. We have places to be. What a monster! Where did it even come from? Oh my god. It's like Godzilla. It's not stopping. 
Run! Run! Can't believe they died. Rest in peace. Man, I didn't realize this expansion was going to turn into Stormblood again. Back under the sea. Point two, let's go. <laughs> the breath of Bismarck. See how it swells to form a dome beneath the waves? The waters recede. Yeah, no swimming, thankfully. In defiance of the blinding sky, this place holds fast to its gloom. The last refuge of he who denies the light with every fiber of his being. You stand at the precipice, hero. Journey unto the heart of darkness. Finish it. No one is hard, but I do it for you. Fancy meeting all you guys down here. Okay, let me just uh, tweak some stuff. Okay. Hopefully that should be fine now. You rode with me. <laughs> we were all in Bismarck together. <laughs> ha. Gulp. So glad I am Bismarck was true to his word. We've arrived in the Tempest safe and dry. Tis here we shall find the Lair of Emmet Selk, and I believe the imprisoned Exarch as well. For an Ashian and Lund is of course a trifling matter to flee onto the rift. Yet I suspect such travel is not impossible for mortal in one's custody. Is he mortal, the Exarch? Guess maybe technically, but he just can live for a long time. Nay, would he soon risk his prize when the Exarch's very body serve as the key to the Crystal Tower? I hope he's treated him for that gunshot. Okay. Okay. It was a blank. <laughs> no, you want me to do one more thing? I mean, I uh, did what you asked me to do. And all that. <laughs> yeah, this place is supposed to be uh, abandoned under the water. There seems to be a lot of people hanging around here, eh? Well, they've all got their fish mounts, so, you know. Just fish. Glob, glob. 
No, as for where we should be looking, I rather doubt him at Sark will be sitting around in the open. I propose we follow the slope down towards the deeper trenches and keep an eye out for rock formations large enough to house a stronghold. Let's be off then, but watch your footing. The ground is still wet and likely to be slippery. I'll watch my feet, Fancred. Don't worry. I won't fall. Oh my god, damsel. What happened to your clothes? Got eaten by a shark. If I just close my eyes the whole time? Okay. Man, mate in the gate. The game's really hard to play now. Oh, an ether current. Almost there. Almost walked right past that. Ow. This wee fucker's a titan. <laughs> Please, I'm just trying to get the ether current. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that was beefy. Sea gelatin. <laughs> Pretty sure we fought one of those back in Stormblood. Fish are friends, not food. Does make sense that Emmett would come down under the sea where there's no light. What about that large formation over there? Where? Go away! <laughs> Leave me be, I'm just trying to live my life. I do love how they just get this bit of water here. Don't know, it's quite funny how water stayed here. Uh, over there. You alright, pal? On door youth. I mean, to be fair, if you just seen a human walking around down here, he would be like, what? <laughs> it's a good place to farm your blue mage. Okay. Whenever I decide to start try to level the blue mage again, I'll come back here. They need the fishing areas. Yeah. But at least he showed us where the next ether, ether rate is. Take it, this is the home base. Hey, boys. Don't mind us. Don't mind the uh, traveling circus that's just walked in. We just need to find a guy who looks like Corella DeVille. That's all. ones they followed me why have you come was it you that took away our water uh kinda <laughs> may have been us i don't know ah oh, so this is where the yonder make their home i had wondered 
Uh, no worries, Geek Show. Thank you very much for the follow there. Always appreciate it. Uh, pray forgive us any inconvenience we've caused. We're not aware your people lived here in the Tempest. Calf. <laughs> Cat Seth. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate it. Uh, we need this great down of air. We might conduct the most urgent search. And thus beg for your understanding. Chieftain, what are we to do? Get the fuck out. Are you emissaries of the Ancient Ones? Uh... Yeah, that's us. That's us, boy. Uh, the mysteries are stirred. We've seen the illuminated land shining through the gloom of the abyss. Got notifications off, McMahon. <laughs> I don't know, shall I put them back on? If you are the emissaries, the chosen, I bid you welcome. If you're not, bid you leave. I I'm not sure I understand. Would you be willing to elaborate? Yeah, I, I turned them off. I haven't turned them back on, but... Should I turn them back on? It would seem not. I suggest we withdraw for the moment. It's a whole zone, you could probably turn them on. So what's the plan? Given your condition, I'm reluctant to suggest lingering here. That said, our presently meandering search will proceed more for swiftly if you call upon the Ondo's local knowledge. Yes, I'd like to know more about this illuminated land the chieftain spoke of. Could it be MXL's stronghold, do you suppose? Perhaps he'd let the lanterns upon his return? cannot dismiss the possibility, but these Ondo refuse to speak with us. Desmond, do you remember my first scheme for Anton Omo? I had planned to in integrate myself by offering lucrative trading opportunities with the Ondo. Not really, <laughs> not really Alpha, no. Don't remember. <laughs> the individual I dealt with was a recipient, uh, bleh, recipient, recipient, in manner of curious and custom, we were able to reach an agreement nonetheless. I believe with the right approach, we can build a similar relationship here. What kind of approach do you have in mind? The chieftain fellow wouldn't leave us much options. If we're to tread the swifted course, then we just must... Oh my god, I can't even do this anymore. <laughs> then we must need to locate its beginning. Just playing our odd dramatic arrival of throwing the settlement into confusion. Were we to solve such problems as we have caused, and assure our hosts thereby that our purpose here is not inimical to them. They may yet prove admirable to reason. I smell chores, but very well if it can be done quickly. What do you think? I have nothing better to offer, but I do worry what will happen if the Undo's tails end up leading us to a dead end. I cannot say for certain. I sense this tribe has a deeper connection to the Ashens than first meets the eye. Really? It warrants further investigation. Thus, I cast my vote in favour of aiding the sentiment for the time being. Fetch quest jump scare. It's kind of looking like that. We will make allies of the Ondo. Then it's settled. You stole that. Pray proceed with your investigations. The rest of us will see about fostering some goodwill. Okay. Put the notifications back on. Desmond, you won't believe I've just bumped into you. McManor?
<laughs> Do the pose. This is pal Sean. The very fellow I did business with prior to I offered to stay in Oh, well, that's convenient. I waited you did not come. <laughs> then the mistal came, but his visits did not continue. I'm truly sorry, pal Sean. It's probably not even his name. Things did not proceed as planned. So what we can do by way of an apology? Mm, perhaps. With a dry return, a cavern to the north is home to giant crabs. We do not fear the crab, for we are swift swimmers. But now there is no water. We run. Ah, oh, shit, I skipped it. <laughs> I think we need to go and fight some crabs. I believe I can be of assistance there. And what of you, Desmond? If you're not fond of task, you're most welcome to join me. Indeed, I should appreciate the company. With well, a dry return, has a rather ominous rain to it. Alright. Guess we gotta go fight some giant enemy crabs. Up there to the north. Okay. We will make our way over there. Uh, shot. How do we get out of here again? <laughs> Up this way? Nope. Up that way? Okay. Follow you guys. <laughs> Navigating the ocean's hard. Sometimes just navigating this game in general is hard. At least the music's nice and relaxing. This is like music you put on to fall asleep to. Straight up there, I think. You do have this on your sleep playlist. Fair play. It is very chill sounding. Uh, yeah. Just FYI guys, I think if you do too much damage to these then I don't get the credit. Or maybe not. I don't know what happened with that last one. I definitely didn't do that much damage on that one. Oh, you just can kill that other one if you want. As long as you hit it first. I thought I did hit that one first. Hit it with the AoE. Oh. Because this enemy's still alive. There we go. Sorted. Okay. Uh, don't worry, Evan. We're coming back to the uh, the Ondo Cups. I'm going to quickly uh, run and... Uh, oh. Vista. Hi. Thanks for the shout out. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right. Heading back to the Ondo Cups. And uh, I'm going to quickly run and get another drink. So, BRB.
Hello there. Yeah, cheers, uh, Stella Beans. I don't know what happened. I guess my AOE didn't detect that one. Mine milkshake bringeth all yon gentlefolk to mine yard, and lo, they reply, tis better than thine. Yeah, I keep meaning to add uh, Desmond laugh as a sound effect. Alphano, did you even do anything? So you've reached your quarter first again, did you do anything? I shall never be your equal in such tasks. Still, I'd say reduce the local crab population to a far less threatening number. My thanks to both of you. You must have a ward. Nay, Pachon. This is part of my apology to you, remember? Besides, which lack of water is our doing for which we must also make amends? He was getting fire up. <laughs> he was drawing pictures. I convinced us to tell us something about your village instead. I'd very much like to learn more about you and your people. We're fucking lizard men. Spied buildings on the ocean floor. Lawn stood under the water. Well, if it works. They, oh wait, do they think the ancients built them? We should have just said to them, yeah, we, we're, uh, we're messengers of the agents. <laughs> Would have uh, skipped all this. Yeah, exactly, Alf. <laughs> Bit too honest. A little uh, white lie didn't hurt anyone. I'll be all right, Alphano. Desmond is strong. He can carry the burden just a little bit. Ah, Desmond. Have you learned all of note? More talk about the uh, the ancients. Fascinating, and precisely the sort of information I was hoping to hear. In fact, if you haven't one, I'd like to borrow your eyes. <laughs> Take some out your head. I need those. I need those to see. She's back outside. Kind of land and rack together. <laughs> We're not from another world. I mean, to be fair, we've been lying to everyone. I guess now the uh, people in the Crystarium know we're not from here. But because of all the uh, goodwill that we've did, they're like that. Do what you want. It's all good. There are two tasks I would have you perform. The first requires you inspect the buildings which surrounded the Yondo settlement and note their most distinctive characteristics. The second, I wish for you to use this knife to take scrapings from one of the remnant walls. Pray be as thorough as you can. Shall we wait here for the results of your investigations? Okay.
How? How are you down here? <laughs> There's a shoe bill here at the bottom of the ocean for some reason. All right. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> Emmett's using it to spy. <laughs> Maybe. It's staring directly at you. <laughs> How did you get down here, bird? look of murderous intent. Uh, we need to take some scrapings off the building now. This grumpy face has to be him. <laughs> I mean, now that you've said that, it makes sense. Oh, wondrous tales. I do have the wondrous tales ready to go. I think I'm like one space or two spaces away from a line. Set the point of the knife against the wall. You cannot remove so much as a flake of stone. Oh my god. The hell are these bricks made of? Adamantium? Dear question his presence. No, no, no. I just wonder how it managed to get down here without getting hurt, that's all. There's a fucking shoe bell you stole, it won't leave me alone. The windows are most distinctive. It would seem the structures appear the same both to your sight and mine. And you say there's so not so much would scratch the wall? Even with all your might behind the blade? It's true. Desmond Strong couldn't, couldn't get in off it. Desmond, everywhere I turn in this place, my gaze is drawn by a peculiar materials for which I do not have a name. The buildings I had you investigate are prime examples. They may appear to be constructed of ordinary stone, but I assure you it's nothing of the sort. If pressed, I would describe the substance of a composite of several mineral properties, blended to create a material of unparalleled durability. Even the Ronkin Empire, once the greatest power in Northrend, produced nothing which compares to this level of perfection. If not the Ronkins, then who? Who were these ancients the Ondo claim as the architects of their sanctuary? Maybe the Ashens? I mean, it's the only thing I can think of at this point. <laughs> Who's like the oldest entity we can think of right now? And if Emmett Selk is down here, maybe in amongst these buildings, then say it's probably uh probably ashens yeah was it built by them doing fist strong even he couldn't chip the rock that is my theory as these structures are remnants of a time before history of a star that was yet whole and unbroken such traces in the sort would have been obliterated by the succession of humble calamities. But here in the first, they may have remained untouched for millennia. A copy of the mural in the Katana Ravel, Almut presented to me during my visit to Fano after our victory in Calusia. Oh, aye, the mural. Here in the first scene, by Emmett Selk's own words, it depicts a city of eons past and the disaster which uh, befell it. The design is much simplified, of course, but do you see the similarities between the towers and those you've just inspected? We are close to the truth, I feel. Let's search the surroundings for another tower, one, uh, one which matches the picture near enough to remove all doubt. From what I've seen, not more than sand and more sand lies to the east, and the south held no, uh, no such structures. 
Suggest we try our luck further to the northwest. You may view the Katana Bureau anytime uh, and the key items. The hell oh, no <laughs> help. Destination won't be displayed on the map. You must search for the structure you're okay. I gotta find it myself. Okay. See what I can do. Why am I hearing elephants? Oh shit. That'd be why I'm hearing elephants. Okay, you know what? I was gonna say who's getting crushed, but you know what? I'm going to allow this. It said the north, northwest up here. Okay, got this. I do like how that fine up head looks like a axle lot. Can we cross it? Is that a bridge? R.I.P. Bozo. Rest in forgiveness. Yeah, well, if that's me every time I play this game. Just like, where am I going? Right, let's see if I can find it myself. What's the bet that I don't find it? Like, I, I struggle to find it. There's a big collection of towers. So. Is this it? Oh, is it those green things at the bottom? I think so. It's actually down here. <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> You alright? I'm not too sure what this is meant to be. I don't know. Let's go back to the, uh, that point. Oh, it's a need for current as well. I'll collect that in a second too. It's at least part of it anyway. The wee bit at the bottom. Aye, this is the mural writ large. Though I cannot guess at its purpose, it must have been an opposing sight. How much of the tower's height lies beneath the ground, I wonder? Centuries of our history have settled upon such ruins, countless layers of dust and sediment. An entire civilization is existence forgotten by all except a handful of Ashens. And yet it did exist. They lived here in the city. But let us focus on what we've learned thus far. The Ondo chieftain spoke a mystery stirring, of a land illuminated. Judging by his words, he believes this phenomenon related to the ancients' return. Thus we can surmise what the Ondo saw shining in the abyss was, in all likelihood, yet another remnant of this age-old civilization. And who else would light the lanterns as Reem put it, than him itself himself? It is almost certain he's here. I mean, don't suppose there's anywhere else he could be.
please. If to find this drone holding a timely manner, it seems gaining the Ondo's trust remains our swiftest path forward. I only hope our deeds are enough to win them over. <laughs> Knight, try your best. Try your best. Hold on. I'll get a photo of you in mid there, so it looks like you're flying with them. There you go. Hi Evan, how you doing? Thank you for assisting me with my investigations. I shall seek out our companions and share what we've learned. Much as I would like to sit down and leave the rest to us, your condition demands we make all reasonable haste. Yo, you got some hot chalky for you? Did Harshy Font bring you? The kangaroo lizard. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Back to the cups. Nah, I took a photo of you. You were flying in the photo, as far as I'm concerned. Cadbury's hot chalky. Sounds pretty good. The walls of the forgotten. Is that where the unknown lives? Craftsman, sacred lamp. Visit this artisan and return with it. Oh, isn't that the? Uh, do I know the guy that they said in the Crystario? Or am I thinking of another guy? Grainold, maybe. Your roll quest. We did the tank one. Is this what we need it for? Uh, down that way. I don't have cool shiny ones like you guys. Out here. Oh. Uh, MB, do you want me to read that in the spoiler chat too? Should I read it as well? You said it if you say it sounds cool, then maybe I should read it too. Just kidding, I'm not I'm not gonna read it. I don't go in there. Is that what we're looking for? Oh my god, it's a giant lift. <laughs> you want some hot chalky? Aye. Can't be a wee bit of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Exarch is still bleeding out of her gunshot wound. Whilst Emmett drops uh, exposition on him. I was bored. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> well, that's great. My mind's playing tricks on me now. Look, Grenard, someone's come to visit you at the bottom of the bleed ocean. Hello, I'm Desmond. Or might you be a ghost, eh? Go on, foul shade. Feast yourself on my rotten soul. I've got no use for it. A craftsman that can't craft is more pointless than a sea, sl a sea slug, a dome and hammer, and that's a bloody insult to sea slugs. She has to be suffering from a crushing bout of self-doubt. Psych him up. Okay, I can do that. Look at this. Are you not psyched? You'd be trying to raise me spirits now, would you spirit? <laughs> Not what I expect from a servant of the netherworld. It will be okay. It's the perfect accent. It's got a bit of Scottish in it, no doubt. What? Has it come? Is he, is he someone I've seen before? Have we met? 
may have crossed paths back in the Gustarium. I don't reckon we'll be falling into just. Oh, is it the bog, the relic guy? Is that who it's meant to be? Oh, that makes sense now. Name's Grenald. This has been my underwater sanctuary, a place where I can give myself what we may work. Far from distractions in the outside world. And yet here I stand, or here ye stand. It's so damned important that you dive all the way to the bottom of the bleeding tempest to bother me. Why are you cutting around at the bottom of the ocean with no top on? Are you not absolutely freezing? Ah, the Ondo's lamp. Yeah, I started the Realm Reborn Relic. Oh god, he's having a, he's having a fit. I've only got the first Paladin one. But I do know who it is, the bald guy. He's in the uh, Heavensward one as well. I'm worthless in a sea slug. Nay, the slime left by a sea slug. My delivery date's long past, my work, uh, workbench is untouched. I call myself a bleeding artisan. You've heard their beliefs, have you? Bind the light to them ruins of being at to deep religiousness and uh, cultural significance. It was my privilege as a craftsman to be tasked with providing that. How did you end up down here, actually? It's confusing. Ah, my mind's bleeding blank. It's like I pissed away my last drop of inspiration. It's like me trying to edit a video. I don't know how to make this better. <laughs> Alright, kick up the arse. I can provide that. It's Gerald's first soul. Your thoughts turned to Brandon, the crystal we discovered at the end of his journey. Ah, so that's why you need to do one of them. I see. Look at my pump. <laughs> you won't find more inspiration. He is beside a burning forge. I don't see it. It's probably beside, but even still. He says he's not been doing it, and so no excuse. What's that you've got there? Such striking beauty. It shines with the heartache and laughter, the transcendence of life, the turmoil history made manifest. I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. Ah. You'd never capture uh, such a gleam if you not laboured a hundred years. But bugger me if I don't mean to try. Where are my tools? <laughs> okay. You get to work using the crystal. Hey, the guy's all here. Step aside, lad. And let me itching hands get to work. Alright. This is the guy you get free job gear from. Oh, do we get the, uh, is that what you're wearing, McManor? How am I supposed to drag that to where it needs to go? Explain, mate. How am I supposed to get that back though? I know Desmond is strong, but it's going to take him hours and he doesn't have hours from the sounds of things. I don't suppose, depending on who you, uh, whose crystal you give him. It changes the story or anything like that. Apart from just maybe the gear you get. Ugh, can't believe I have to drag it. Please tell me this isn't like... Oh, this must be here. There it is. The shadow brainer. Let me just claim all this. Oh, it's much better than what I've got already. Oh, 
Oh no, everyone avert your eyes. Because Desmond's eyes have been unleashed. Oh no, mine's is a bit different from yours. Unless... No, it's the same. Stop right there, criminal scum! I didn't do it. <laughs> the eyes. Okay, hold on. There you go. But it's like the logo. The uh, Shadow Brenner's logo. I'm Batman. It does look like Batman, to be fair. You know, as cool as this is, I'm, uh, I'm going to, uh, stick with, uh, before I've got... Hi, Lucy. Good to see you. John Shadow <laughs> Yeah. I mean, this is cool, but I quite like my, uh, current look, so... I do wish you could swap poses. Like, you could swap to, like, the female pose if you wanted. And obviously, vice versa. Because, like, what's it going to break, you know? Okay. We have to, uh... Bring that back. Okay. And I will, uh, change back into my usual clothes. Like I said, as much as I, uh, I like this... Uh, Fowl's balls suck. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, Aaron. Really appreciate it. Oh yeah, I do just look like the job cage. But yeah, as nice as this is, uh, I do uh, I do like my uh, my current look. I mean, I made it for this expansion, after all. So, oh yeah, Lucidi. Um, yeah, things have happened. Um, Emmett Selk was a bitch as usual. Well, more so than uh, usual. And, uh, yeah. Um, Grahatia, am I right? He's been catnapped. And I need to get him back. A man is on a quest to save his cat. Okay. Taking it to the big structure. Emmett squelched. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, stewards of the Female eye, the pose in the ground's cooler. Offer up a light in answer. Like I said, they can't, like, unless, like, it's, like, integral, uh, integral to the model, like, It'd be nice to, like, you could just swap around. You could just use either one if you wanted. That crystal you showed the artisan. Oh. Was it... Did it belong to one of my friends? I did say this during that actual, uh, that quest. Weren't you watching? Like, I expected him to jump out and, uh, you know, say something at the time. I tried to give you a measure of privacy. No one wants a spirit looking over their shoulder every moment of the day. Hope you don't spy on me when I go to the bathroom. That'd be awkward. Or when I sleep. So tell me, if you would, how did you come across that crystal? Yes, it's your big tank, buddy. It was Brandon's then. that I should learn such things now after they're long gone they were fine friends every one of them I didn't expect death to teach me so much about them about Seto about you about the hope that hides at the heart of this world I've never been one for idle chit-chat, but if by some miracle I could see them all again, I doubt I would ever stop talking. I'm grateful I got to bend your ear, at least. And just for that, I reckon I'll stick with you. 
to the very end. Appreciate it, Arbor. I mean, you did say you would help me out if I, if I start losing control. Apologies, we were a little late to the gathering. What a guy. Absolutely. It seems we succeeded in gaining their trust. <laughs> Best bump. The delay wasn't exactly welcome, but at least our many hands made light work. And they seemed especially impressed with your contribution. Our hero indeed. Just too good, Fankred. Just too good. Yustola was telling us those structures may date back to the age of the Asians. An Asian homeland. Despite his many protestations, I never quite believed Emmett Selk was telling the truth. Nor I. But there is no denying the evidence before our eyes. Clearly this was once a great city. A home they would see restored, no matter how many tens of thousands of years it takes. It's a hollow dream when you think about it. Even if they manage to rejoin all the worlds, they'll never bring back the ones who were lost. But would I have done any different? Still got 5G, but I'm surviving for now. Do I plan on finishing the expansion? I'm I'm more than happy to go into the wee hours of the morning to finish it. You have completed your but devotions. If some of you guys need to leave in that, and then maybe would want to leave it till tomorrow. Then I'd be fine to do that too. But I'm ha I'm happy to keep going till the end. I feel like we're so close. Yes. To the honored ancients have we offered up. Our prayers and our gratitude. You too have our thanks. <laughs> you interrupted me and Arbert team. Might we trouble thee then to tell us more of the illuminated land of which thou didst lately speak? Ah, you can only stay. Evan, you can only stay an hour. Lies a great trench. Got like two Some hours. Ago, okay. A light appeared in that endless darkness. Yeah, like I said, by all means, don't stay up on my account. Curious, we ventured closer and discovered in the depths an entire city. The buildings we spied were akin to our own everlasting abodes. Impossibly so. That's why I think best. Yeah. I mean, I've stayed up till like two o'clock in that before <laughs> finishing expansion, so. We understood at once the ancients had risen. There could be no doubt. Yeah. Just thinking if uh, people want to be involved, but they've got to go to their, go to their beds because obviously they've got work in that tomorrow. I mean, I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> I shouldn't be up super late, but to the cups, if we're so close, it's got to be done. None should enter the trench until such time as we received a sign. Yeah, we'll see. Might it still be possible to reach this city of the ancients? Hmm. With no water to drown you, a finless one could now travel there. Yes. I am convinced you are the sign for which we have been waiting. My people will show you the way. Blame on it. <laughs> we didn't catnap Graha. Wouldn't be in this mess. No hurry, cool dog.
Good night, Alessio. Thanks for hanging out. Always appreciated. This isn't a bad stopping point. Oh, shit. <laughs> a fallen help. <laughs> Desmond's fallen help. Be a good stopping point. Stopping here would be a good idea. Suppose if uh, some people were uh, shooting off, maybe we should just uh, leave it till tomorrow. Maybe finish the quest. There's a lot of lore. Suppose if we uh, do it tomorrow, because I'm streaming again tomorrow, um, should be plenty of time for people to get involved before uh, people have to shoot off. There's an E for current right over there. I need to grab it. Finale is amazing. Be sad if people missed it. Didn't expect me to come even close to finishing. So if we continue on, we will need to keep going for like two or three hours. Yeah. Because obviously Alessio and that just went to bed. And there's potentially more who are, you know, maybe just lurking. I'd like uh, for all you guys to, uh, if obviously you want, to obviously be with me while I go through the finale. Because I imagine there'll probably be, uh, you know, as usual, like a final trial and stuff like that to do. And obviously I'd like for obvious to have a chance to be involved and feel like you need to stay up, otherwise you'll miss it. So maybe this is a good place to end up. So like I said, we are streaming literally tomorrow. It's not like we're not streaming for like a couple of days or something like that. Yeah. Maybe uh, rushing about to try and finish it. If you guys say there's like two hours, maybe three. Quite work knackered. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. I'm more than happy to lose some sleep just to finish off expansions, but yeah, if, uh, it'd be different maybe if this was like a Friday night or a Saturday night, then I'm sure people could uh, stay up a bit, but I don't want people to, uh, to miss out on it if they really want to be involved. I'm not jumping on that. Do I go all the way back to the top? Still an hour or two of content. Yeah, we could, um, there's plenty of things I still need to do in this game, so even if we finish tomorrow at like 10, 11, something like that, uh, 
you know, plenty of stuff for us to do. But yeah, you guys say just get to the end of this bit and then uh, we'll call it there, I reckon. Carry on now, it's hard to stop, yeah. I can feel myself getting more and more invested as we go, but obviously I don't want to uh, do it and then people are uh, <laughs> people are dying to go to their bed or need to go but they wanted to be involved, so. It should be Black Mage. I did try Black Mage, couldn't quite get the air rotation, just need more practice. I do prefer a red mage if I have to choose. But yeah, also Desmond doesn't use magic. Absolutely not. Alpha no. You have a choice of two routes from here. You either take the long way to the south along the rocks or skip along the coral branches Alizé has done. I for one shall be following my sister's example. Gulp. <sighs> don't worry Alpha, no, just don't look down. You'll be fine. Red mage propaganda. It's cause you can melee with it. I'm a melee only red mage. Don't use any of the spells. Oh my god, Sal just fucking died. Rest in peace. GBNF. Got to catch the tail end of the stream. Uh, we probably will be finishing up shortly. Because it looks like we're coming right up to the finale. And uh, I want to make sure everyone's not sleep deprived going into it. But I am streaming tomorrow, same exact time, so if you want to see the potential, well, it will be the finale of uh, Shadowbringers, then <laughs> where are you? Are you in the center of the earth over there? What is going on? Need to stay up late and catch the next one. Um, we usually uh, start streams at 8 o'clock my time, which is uh, four hours ago. Um, I'm not too sure if you're in uh, America or somewhere else, but yeah. Hello Stingray, please. Leave me be. Get to the end, it's worth the sleep. <laughs> I'm, fi I'm fine with it. I'm thinking more of everyone else. And it's looking like maybe the best thing to do is uh, save it for tomorrow because I'm streaming tomorrow. So. Four hours ago was 4 a.m. <sighs> yeah. Time differences, am I right? That's the secret. I'm always sleep deprived. Fowl's balls, son. Thank you very much for the follow, Hayton. Always appreciated. <laughs> it's not the first time I've sacrificed my sleep. We got to uh, Heavensward Ishgard at like 2 in the morning my time.
So many goddamn enemies. Leave me be. <laughs> there we go. It's good to see you again, Sosaya. I know you're in the uh, YouTube chat as well. It's good to see you. No heroic jumps over the edge, Desmond. Hey, guess what? Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Is there anything down the bottom to kill me? Oh, I can't even jump down. Come on. Why, why, why say, oh, don't jump down and then you can't actually do it? That's cruel. I'm sure you guys will start spamming the chat being like, stop now, stop now. <laughs> Let me get to it. Stop now. You should stop here if you are stopping. <laughs> Don't go any further, Desmond. Ow. My car's been attacked by this thing. There we go. Sorted. Stop here. I'm going to turn the corner. No, I'm just kidding. I won't. If you guys say this is probably the best place, then I guess it's probably the best place. You guys know better. They stopped in the next room. Oh, I don't know. That's quite close to where we need to go. You need to, <laughs> you need to just stop where you are right now. Don't go any further. I know, I'm being held at gunpoint. <laughs> don't move a muscle chump. Log out <laughs> right now. Delete your account right now. Delete your character right now. But yeah, okay. If you guys say this is the place to stop, then this is the place to stop. Don't log out here, though. All right. So should be uh, should be fast travel somewhere then. Should we, uh, should we just go back to the, uh, the cups? Spoilers in the loading screen. Just TP back. Go to the Crystarium. <laughs> no. Crystarium? Okay. Okay. We'll come back here tomorrow. If you guys are saying don't log out, I won't log out. We'll go back to the Crystarium. And I'll be in the exact same place as I log out tonight. So you know I've not been sneaking a peek. Right, come on lads. In front of the stairs. You know the drill. That's so funny, man. <laughs> Logging out and getting spoiled. Tataru Godzilla. Wasn't that the uh, the white whale? That was actually Tataru. Yeah, I've heard Grinding Gears uh, streaming tomorrow. Are they at the end of uh, Endwalker? Oh, guys, who are you going to choose to watch? Me or them? I'm just kidding. Have us both on if you want. Everyone get your cameras ready. 
exactly. Both on one monitor. Do a collab stream. Hey man, if they want me to uh, come on and chat to them, I'm more than happy to. Watching you there to the end of the VOD, yeah. Like I said, you can watch whoever you want. It's entirely up to you. My VOD will be there, their VOD will be there. You know, there's plenty of time to watch either. You should be on the podcast. Well, that's up to them if they want to invite me. I'm, uh, I'm small time though, so bro probably not. Tome gear for Shadowbringers. Your sword's like uh, something from Berserk. I like it. What time am I streaming tomorrow? Um, 8 p.m. my time. Um, hold on. Oh, uh, probably should. <laughs> nice. Um, what I'll do is, is I'll, uh, I'll shoot you guys a link to the Discord. In the Discord, there's a schedules bit and it has uh, timestamps for your time. So it will say the correct time for you on it. So hold on, let me grab this and I'll put it in uh, both chats. There's the Discord link on Twitch and YouTube. But I'll also uh, grab, a, grab a picture right now. <laughs> I've still got this photo for some reason. Anyway. Let's see. I'll quickly get a photo of the schedule. Because it might have your time on it. And it'll save you a bit of bother. There we go. My god, it's massive. So anyway, that's the schedule there. Same time as what we streamed at tonight. 8pm my time. And then obviously we've got EDT, CDT, and P, uh, PDT. Right there. But like I said, if you go in the schedules bit in the Discord, it will give you the proper timestamp for where you are. So, should line up. Starts one hour before GG. Oh, well, that's alright. You can watch me for a bit and then jump over to theirs if you like. It's all good. Good thing you're off tomorrow. Absolutely. I know. That's why I put the finale in both, because I wasn't sure if we were going to finish it tonight or tomorrow. So, anyways. Yep. What's an uh, CBT? CBT oil. I'm sure. Did I say CBT? Damn. I meant CDT. They're right here. Oh my god, I flew off the screen. Why is that not locked? Jesus Christ. But yeah. These are the times here. There they are there. We know for a fact the first day is now going to be the actual finale. I'm looking forward to it, guys. You guys have been uh, saying it's pretty good, so I'm uh, I'm going in with high expectations, and I expect to have them met. Yeeted myself out of existence, absolutely. <laughs> out of the game, absolutely. All right, well. We're going to wrap up here, guys. Always appreciated everyone hanging out. And uh, tomorrow, same time as always, we will be here and we will finally see the end into Shadowbringers. Will it be as good as you guys say? I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait and see. But anyways, thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out. Always greatly appreciated. And I will see you tomorrow for the end of the Shadowbringers. Cheers, guys. And now I try awkwardly try to find the ending screen. <laughs>